Okay, so uh, as a follow-up on my um, Hydroflame Atwood Hydroflame uh, troubleshooting issue with the high limit switch, I had a lot of follow-up questions asking me how you bypass the uh, high limit switch. Um, so it's a white wire on your schematic. Going in. Uh, so I bypass from here on the input of the vane switch to here the output of the high limit switch so on the reg what that looks like is shave the wire the white wire here use a jumper with an alligator clip over to the white wire here at the output of the high limit switch. Uh, this is for testing purposes only. You wouldn't want to run like this because you're bypassing two safety switches. Do not run your rig like this. This is for troubleshooting purposes only. Uh, and jump here. As you can see, this goes directly into the control board. I don't know if you can see, but that's the, into the control board input there. And that's the control board I replaced. Let's just shave this wire back a little bit, uh, and then I tape tape over it when I'm done jumping it. Uh, somebody actually put a, a testing intercept in there, like a scotch lock test point in there, probably because they had a similar problem. Surprise, surprise. Uh, can I see that? Where's my finger? Which is convenient for testing. It's also likely point of corrosion. So that's how you would do that. Any alligator jumper would do. Just want to make sure you don't ground any of this out um, while you're testing. Of course, when you're done testing. So it's either, you, if, if that works, it's either one of those two switches. Um, the vein switch is much easier to get at. Uh, the high limit switch you saw in the video much more difficult to get at all right so that's how it's done for testing purposes only okay hope you enjoyed um thank you for uh, letting me know in the comments um that i didn't clarify that and that's how it's done all right be safe